how are you today? So happy to have you back. Today we're gonna do your color analysis for the winter season. What is that? Oh, okay. You're a sister in a wedding? Maid, maid of honor. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, really? It's a theme wedding? All pink. Well, that's the first for me. How is it gonna be? Hmm. Okay, okay, so you're gonna be wearing an all pink dress and you want to find out which is the best for you mm. Okay, apart from your color analysis from winter Excellent. Well, I also have a good news. We just received your personalized makeup palette Remember that we designed the colors for you Yeah, it just arrived. So I'm here to test it for you very well, so let's start with the dress that you're gonna wear. So it's gonna be all pinks. Mm, okay, you wanna find out which pink is better for you. Mm -hmm. Very well. Let me see if I have some fabrics here in that tone. Not sure. Normally pink is something that my clients don't like. To wear that much at least not in this time of the year let's see if I have some okay I have a few not many tones but we can help ourselves with this one too so what type of dress you want to be wearing okay to the neck Okay, fancy. Very well. Are you going to change anything in your hair? The color? Length? It's going to stay like that. And you're going to have it down or up. Yeah, because that influences on the type of pink that it will be better for you. Because if you have your hair down and your hair goes into uh, the fabrics, um, it can can clash on the colors so it depends up oh, okay very good so well I know that this has polka dots but don't worry don't mind about that I'm just looking for the tone of pink and then I have a more kind of baby pinkish one let me just lower the light settings for you so we can work better on it there we go okay so we're gonna start with this pink which is the softest now this one it kind of goes like almost white in certain light settings so it's very nice mimicking that it's not all super bright pink how is the bright going <sighs> really barbie pink well, yeah, it's definitely a theme party. Okay, let's see. So it's gonna be all the way up to your neck. Is it gonna have laces? Okay, this is gonna be a little bit too pale for you. Definitely too pale for you. Let's try another one. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm liking this one on you. That looks good. I'm gonna cover your shoulders with it let's do okay let's wrap it around you 
Oh. Looks much better. Yeah, definitely. Okay, let me just put up the light again. Oh. oh. This one is a no-no for you. No super oh, light pink. This one I like better. Now let's go with the cards. Okay, we have this one, which will be more like this. But since you're telling me that the bride is gonna go bright pink, have you seen the dress or the colors that she's gonna wear? We don't wanna go the same as her. This one, so this is the one that she's gonna wear, hot pink. Okay, so we're going to stay away from this card. That leaves us these two. I don't know if you can notice that this one is very similar to the fabric that I was trying on you. Let's go here with our shirt. We are into our reds right there. Let me just show you. So we are going with this pink. So we are into our reds. And this tone up here is just the one that is going to be perfect for you. Um, okay, I'm going to give you a sample of the colors. Let me just cut a bit of this fabric so you can take it with you and give it to your tailor. Now, just tell them to, for to forget about the polka dots. You just want this tone of pink. Okay, yeah, it depends on the fabric, but any type of that color, even if it's um, with shimmering or just flat, it's going to work perfect for you. Okay, so this is your sample that you're going to be taking home and give it to your tailor. i put it just right there for you. So let's start with your winter color analysis. Last winter season we had greens, which it was pretty odd. This winter season we have blues. Blues are going to be in, in all tones, especially during the day. It's going to be fabulous. Let me see if we can find... Okay, we are into our blues section here. So no changes in your hair during this season? None at all, right. Okay, so this is the palette that is coming for this season. So we're gonna be looking a lot of blues and purples. Purples are gonna be the ones in the bottom, but blues are gonna be the main star. Even some aquamarine, kind of greenish, but not all the way green. We're going to be focusing on this little bright, beautiful blues. And it's kind of, it's called a spruce, which is pretty cute. It's like a mixture of purple with the blue. But we're going to be focusing on this. This is what's going to season. Okay. Don't remember if you have in your wardrobe some blues from past season. Yeah, the thing is that our system is down right now. We are just with pen and paper. Yeah, yeah, they are working on it, but I don't know if when they are going to have them ready. So I don't have any information about the past sessions. I'm so sorry. 
<laughs> it's okay. I do remember the past session from winter, but not the year before that. So I don't really remember if you have blues in your wardrobe. A few, but it wasn't the main star, right? Mm. Okay. So you, do you have tops? Some? Very good. Let me just put it here so I don't forget once I pass it to the system. Very good. So hair staying the same. Can we take it down, lower it up to the sides, please? Good. Beautiful as ever. That's a gray hair color for you. I remember that you changed it. Okay, so we are going to be working on this side right here to see which colors complement you better, which are standing out on you, make you look even more beautiful. So we are here. Right now with the tones that you have, would say that you are right here in this area so that will be there we go and I'm gonna go this way okay so let's check our chart in the area now let's start with the hair. Hair is staying the same. Let's see which type of blue will complement you for your makeup this season. Okay. We have this one right here which will be falling into our adding of whites and a little bit of peach tones which our chart is telling us here that will be a good base for makeup which is great because those tones are in your customized makeup palette that's gonna be great So you don't fall directly into the blues for your eye color and I'm sorry your eyeshadow more into the blue greens kind of even grays which it's right here let me show you in our graph so we have our blues here which is uh, what is trending this season but you're falling into this here right in the middle with the blues and greens not much falling into blue green more like green blue which is more aquamarine tones very very neat and beautiful you can see it from there okay so we're gonna be working with the 12 shade for you and we're gonna be here on oh let's see she's there okay good we're gonna be falling into the bbp and ep for you right here in this area okay let me just write that down okay bbp and the 12. Yeah, this is to create your makeup look. I'm gonna do your day look and evening look too. You're not wearing any makeup at the moment. That's great. Thank you so much. Okay. 
because we're gonna do your makeup test. Yeah, remember that what we create here for you is something that you can wear all seasons, but some colors are gonna be more into fashion, more into what is trending right now, but everything that we create for you, it's okay to wear, even if it's summer, winter, spring, okay? Just be sure and be aware that some colors look better during the day and others during the night. Okay, we have four, five, three, and four for your eyes. We have the stones here. These blues are what complement you. This one, this one, this one, and this one. These are good during the day. This in the evening should be looking great for the season just to be in the trending, okay? But as I was saying, you can wear whichever you want. These are created especially for you. Unless you change your hair completely, but it's the same as before. Okay. So we have your eyeshadow. Looks good. For eyeliner, classic black should be fine. Even some dark blues, which will fall into... Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't bring my glasses. So I can't read this number. Just one second, please. I'm so sorry, I forgot my glasses. Okay. Now I can read. So, for you we have um, the number one and seven should be a good number for eyeliner if you don't wanna go with just black. So it will be this one at the top and this one. It will be great under the eyes just a little bit and if you can create something in the top but not for winged eyeliner okay with that we just want to go with black so this is just for the upper eyelid this tones right here okay let me just write it down oh you didn't know i wore glasses well, me either. <laughs> that happens when you start growing old. Yeah, I had LASIK down, done like when I was 25, which was in 2006, more or less. But now I need glasses again. I didn't know that. It's not completely permanent after few years your eyes start going bad again but at least I don't have to wear them all the time like before okay good so we have your eyeliner eyeshadow and for foundation we're gonna go with the same as before there's not much change on the hair and all that you don't need much change on that aspect, okay? Let's just work down 
into your lips. There's really not a trend right now for lips. So nudes, the complete classic, it's gonna be fine. Okay, but let's complement it with the blues that we're gonna be using. Which will be falling there. There we go. Okay, so not for you, we're gonna be right here in this middle. Yep, it completely falls into the nudes right here. So we have uh, oranges and yellow, but right here on the bottom. So it will be nudes and really, really, really light pinks. I won't recommend reds, uh, completely red lips for when you wear blue eyeliner or blue eyeshadows just in case if it's really dark blue and you wear it at night that will be a good combination but don't do it during the day especially not light yellow, um, blues i'm sorry mm -hmm. so we're going to be putting notes and reds in case that you want to go in a special location but just doing the evening okay. good now let's go into the clothes for the season so since you already told me kind of the pieces that you have at home, let's work it out on the colors. Okay, I'm gonna do it front and neck down here. Are they high top? Yeah, pure winter clothing. Okay. Yeah, right now I'm into the cellos. <laughs> you see? Actually, it's one of my favorite colors. Okay, for you. We don't want to go all blue, of course. So we're just going to find some colors that complement blue, along with the pieces that you already have. So we have this here. Actually, these colors are going to be perfect for you too. Actually, like what I'm wearing, it will be a nice combination for you too. Yeah. It complements the tones really, really great. So, that is going to be a good choice. So Shark is telling us that, that red, it will be a nice complement color for you and you can wear it as inside clothes or even coats, uh, it will be a nice color and a good addition for your closet, and she will be good, it falls right here, so, okay. Very good. Have this one and this one. Now buttons. What do you normally like to wear um, for casual? Leggings, jeans. 
Well, leggings are great because you can combine it with everything if, if they are black. So don't worry, if you have black leggings, combine, combine, combine with whatever color you want. Jeans. Now the jeans need to be on a specific kind of tone to work with certain colors at the top. But with red, it goes with anyone. With the oranges and yellows, it works with any kind of blue. Just go with the classic blues of jeans in their shades, of course. I will avoid whites, white bottoms for the season or anything too light. Even if there's jeans, like very washed out jeans, like it's almost white. But we're going to avoid that, okay? For shoes, uh, hmm. browns. We're going to be very careful with the browns, okay? You're going to notice when you're wearing blue at the top and you try to put on brown boots. Mm -mm. You're going to notice it yourself, okay? But from what I remember of your wardrobe and the shoe department, you are all set. Okay, so I have your shirt complete. This time there is no makeup palette. Yeah? Okay, so just the color. So as you know, we're going to send all this information with instructions on how to combine them with an email. Okay? And if you want the physical form, just uh, reply to the email or you can tell me right now. You want the physical too? Okay. That is going to be ready by tomorrow. Is that okay? Excellent. So, by tomorrow. Now for your makeup test, normally there is our makeup technician that does this, but uh, yeah, they are on vacation, so I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to do it, but don't worry, I also do good makeup. <laughs> Let me just set this aside. Oh, did I give you your sample for the fabric? Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, sometimes I, I forget. I'm gonna put it right here for you. Very good. So let's see. No makeup right now. Let me just remove my glasses. I don't need it anymore. Let's get my brushes here. So we have these beautiful tones for you, which complement you just perfectly. And we have our day colors and our evening colors and combination colors with some glitter. All of this are just your colors. This is whatever you put on, it's gonna look great on you with your curling uh, hair color, okay? So we're gonna start with a base. Uh, we created this tone just for you that it will be great for any tone that you wear here but it will be nicer if you just start with this as a base okay okay you are a bit shiny let me just put some primer so the eyeshadow stays in place That's it. Now, as I was saying, we're gonna go with the base, which is this one. These are very pigmented colors, so you wanna be careful with that. Get some of the excess out. Start with a light base, like so. 
but yeah this works in with or without primer don't worry I'm just applying primer right now because um, it's getting a little bit hot with the lights and we got a little bit sweaty so just for the purpose of not messing up here there we go now we're gonna go with this light tone in here like that now we're going to mix this right here like that Good. Now the look that I'm gonna do first is gonna be for the night. Then we're gonna take it off and leave you with the day tones, okay? And we're gonna try uh, which one is your favorite for the night? You can choose from this one, this one, this one, and this one at the top. This one right here. We don't want to put too much. We are not creating a really dark tone. There we go. And just add a little bit of glimmer with this. Okay, this is a good makeup look for the evening. Let's say you have a dinner or a party at night or whatever. This is a good look. So I was telling you, these colors are just perfect for you. Anything that you choose is just gonna look great. Okay. So let's remove that so we can create the day color. Makeup removal here. Okay, eyes closed, please. see if I have some eyeliner for you since you're gonna take it at home so you have the complete look mm -hmm. I have one here our makeup artist took it all home <laughs> yeah they're coming back tomorrow actually it's their last day now again we're gonna start with our base very light 
Let's remember that when we apply too much color in our eyelids, let's say very dark and not uh, mix it up, it makes us look older than we are. So we're gonna go with very, very light colors, but to know that there is some in there. Let's go with this one here. Yeah, especially during the day, it's very noticeable. At night, you can wear whatever you will really like. Especially if it's a party, there is no light present. Add a little bit of glimmer for that. I'm gonna go with this stone here. Mix it up. Good. Okay, let's finish it up with your eyeliner. We're going to do a very light. Excellent. So we are done. We can take a look again in the mirror. You like it? Yeah, it does. It just looks great. So you can combine it. Do very beautiful combinations with the tones that we created for you. And remember that we sent you that information about this palette on the combination that you can make with illustrations and you can get ideas from there okay so i'm gonna set you up with this and your fabric uh, sample retailer and let me just finish this up so the physical form we're gonna have it ready for by tomorrow we can ship it to you if you want or you want to come back shipping okay i have that information with the system mm. uh, yeah i believe but tonight to the high we're gonna have it ready so no need to give it to me again actually remember very good so we are all set do you have any questions well, no, I believe that will be all if you don't have any questions. Okay, so by tomorrow we're going to have all the information and for tonight, no, I would say by tomorrow morning you're going to receive the email with your whole color analysis for winter. And good luck with that wedding. It sounds like it's going to be super, super fun. Mm, bring me some pictures. I would like to see it in the next session. Okay, take care and I will see you on three months time or two. Okay, take care.
Bye.